and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on dividing an interval into a given ratio. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it. It's a little bit tricky. See how you go with it. Dividing an interval into a given ratio. Consider the interval in the first quadrant of this number plane. There it is there. The points at each end of the interval are 3, 1 and 6, 5. We can use these two points to divide the interval into any given ratio. Let us see how we divide this interval in the ratio 2 is to 3. So we're not finding the midpoint. We want to divide the interval in the ratio 2 is to 3. The next slide will present more information about this process. So I've reproduced the interval here. The information is all the same. Now here is the typical question that we can get. It will be worded something like this. Divide the above interval with given endpoints in the ratio 2 is to 3. Now here is the critical information we need to find the answer. The point 3, 1 will make that x1, y1. That's here. The point 6, 5 will make that x2, y2. That is here. And the ratio is 2 is to 3. That's how we're dividing the line. We'll call that M1 and M2. So the M1 will be the 2. The M2 will be the 3. Now here is the formula which helps us to answer this question. The point, so remember it's a point. The answer is going to be a point which divides any interval with endpoints x1, y1 x2, y2 into the ratio m1 is to m2 is. Now this is the x value of the point. The x value is m1, x2 plus m2, x1 over m1 plus m2. That's the x coordinate. The y coordinate is m1, y2 plus m2, y1 over m1 plus m2. Note again. The above formula generates a point with an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Now we'll look at the next slide for the final working. So this is all the same here on the left-hand side. I've just reproduced the information for our benefit so that we can refer to it when we're going through this formula here. So remember... The formula for the x coordinate is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 over m1 plus m2. The y coordinate is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 over m1 plus m2. Now, we have all the information for m1, for m2, for x1 y1, for x2 y2. It's all here. There it is there. So we just substitute into that formula. So M1 X2 is 2 times 6 plus M2 X1 is 3 times 3 over M1 plus M2, which is 2 plus 3. Now that is the X coordinate. Now M1 Y2 is 2 times 5 plus M2 y1 is 3 times 1 over m1 plus m2 which is 2 plus 3. If we simplify the above line, twice 6 is 12, 3 threes are 9, 12 plus 9 is 21. So that's the numerator, 21. Over here, 2 fives are 10 and 3 ones are 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. There's your 13 for that numerator. 
The denominator is 2 plus 3 in each case, so the denominator is 5. So the point is 21 over 5, 13 over 5. So if we transform that to a mixed number, the point which divides this interval in the ratio 2 is to 3 is 4 and 1 fifth, 2 and 3 fifths. Remember, it is not the midpoint. Quick quiz. Now this sum here is very similar to the one we just did. So please go back and check the video if you need. And it probably will help you. That's if you need it. You are welcome to do so. What is the meaning of the following? You are too wise for me. Isn't that a bit tricky? I think it's cute also. The quick quiz answer. Five and seven eighths and four and a half. Remember this is a point. That's the X coordinate. And that's the Y coordinate. And the video is there for you to help you. Check through it at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.